Hello everyone, in this video we will learn a different type of method to solve the system of linear equation and that, that is the method is called as the cross multiplication method. This is the third way of solving system of linear equation. The first two ways substitution method, elimination method and the third is the cross multiplication method. The first rule for cross multiplication method is that the constant should always be shifted to the left means all the three terms should be on the left side of the equation. So we have to do that. So it will become 5x plus 3y minus 35 equals to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 28 equals to 0. So that is the first step. Okay. Now the next step. We will be writing x minus y Okay, and then you will put a divide sign below all the three. Okay, and then there will be an equal to sign. Am I clear this much? Again, we have written x minus y, 1, and then there is an equal to sign. Okay, now when there is an x written, that means you look at the coefficient of the y and the constant. So we are going to write down the coefficient of y and the constant because it's below the x. So the coefficient of y is 3 along with the sign. So 3 plus 3 plus 4. And my constant are 35 and 20 but with negative sign. So we'll get minus 35 and minus 28. Okay. When it was x, we took the coefficient of y and the constant. Now it is a negative y. Okay. Why there is a negative sign? Sometimes you can also put a plus sign. I'll tell you the difference. First, let's talk about negative y. So, which terms, which numbers will go down below y? It will be the coefficient of x and the constant. Okay. If you're going to write the coefficient of x first and then the constant, that means your y should have a minus sign. Okay. If you're going to write the coefficient of x as first and then the constant terms, then the y should have a minus sign. You can switch it over. Means if you're writing the constant first and the coefficient of x afterwards, okay, then your y will have a plus sign. Again, let's have a quick review. Below x, you will write the coefficient of y and the constant. Below y, if you're putting the coefficient of x, then the y will have a minus sign. And constant. If you switch it over, means if you want to put here as the constant and this as the coefficient of x, then this minus will not be there. Okay, but I'm going to put a minus, so I'll follow this rule of applying the of, of putting the values of coefficient of x first and then the constant. You can do the other way around. Okay. Now when we come one upon, when we write one upon the numbers which will come below one will be the coefficient of x and the coefficient of Okay, so 5, 2, 3, 4. Okay, what was the first rule? Shift the constant to the left. Put down x equal to minus y equal to 1. Then write down the coefficient. Below x, you will write the coefficient of y and constant. Below minus y, you will write the coefficient of x constant. Below 1, you will write the x coefficients and y coefficients. Okay, then you will draw an arrow from left bottom to right Sorry, left top to right bottom, same way, left top to right bottom and left top to right bottom. Just to show that this will be the first thing that we are going to multiply. Again, the same x uh, upon, minus y upon and 1 upon. That will not change. Okay, that will be going to continue till we don't simplify our denominator, uh, the denominators. Okay, so that is same. Now, which two numbers are going to get multiplied? These two first. So, it's made 3 times minus 28. Okay. As per the formula, there has to be a minus. And then 4 times minus 35. Okay. Next, below minus y. 5 times minus 28. Negative. What will happen? 2 times minus 35. Okay, now below 1, 5 times 4 minus 3 times 2. This formula minus is there in the formula. Okay, 
Now, again, what we'll do? What did I do? I multiplied 3 with 28 and 4 with 35. 5 with 28, 2 with 35. 5 with 4 and 2 with 3 with a minus sign in the center. Let's solve it further. Okay. So, again, it will be an x divided by equals to minus y divided by equals to 1 divided by. So, this will be what? Yes. 4, yes, 84 with a minus sign. The minus and minus will be a plus. Okay. 0, 140. Here it will be a minus 0, 140. Right. Plus 70 because minus into minus is 70. Then this will be a 20 minus 6. Okay. This much clear. Now we will take the things on the right side. Okay. Let's move to the right and quickly take it out. Now it's a very simple step. Okay. So what will happen? X divide by 140 minus, yes, what is it? 84. Okay, so what I'll get 140 minus 84 will give me a 56. Is it a plus or a minus? Yes, it's a plus. Then minus y divide by 70 and 140. So minus 70. Okay, and then 1 over, yes, 14. Okay, I can cancel off this negative. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'll say x upon 56 is equal to 1 over 40. And y over 70 equals to 1 over 40. Okay. So, shift the 56 on the top. That will be 56 upon 40. And here, y equals to 70 upon 40. Right. So, what we get here? Yes. x is equals to 4. And y equals to 5. So what did I do in this step? After getting my x, y, z with the single denominators, I said x upon something is equals to 1 upon and y upon something is equals to 1 upon because all the three frac the, uh, fractions of the parts were equal. Therefore, x was equal to 1 upon 14 and y upon 70 was equal to 1 upon 14. And thus, we solved it and we got the x and y. Okay. Let's take the next one. Again, what we'll do? We'll shift the constant to the left. So, this will become a 2x plus 3y minus 46 equals to 0 and 3x, sorry, plus 5y minus 74 equals to 0. So, this is x, this is y and this is 1. It has to be equal to, correct? Yes. Now, below x, I should write what? Yes, the coefficients of y, which is plus 3, plus 5, and the constant, that is minus 46, minus 74. Below y, what should I write? Yes, the x coefficient and the constant, minus 46, minus 74. Below 1, what should I write? Yes, the x and the y. Okay, now I have to draw the arrow, top left, bottom right, top left, bottom right, top left, bottom right. Am I clear? Then, again, what we'll write? x upon. 3 times minus 74, sorry, minus is the formula, minus, minus 46 times 5 is equal to minus y times 2 times minus 74 minus, minus 46 times 3, right, equals to 1 upon 2 times 5 minus 3 times 3. Am I clear? Okay. So, let's write down x upon minus 222. Minus minus this will be a plus. Okay. So, 0 230 equals to minus y upon, yes, it's a minus 148. Then minus minus plus 138 equals to 1 upon 10 minus 9. So now we'll further solve it. 222 and 230. They'll sub subtract. So you'll get x upon what? Yes, 8. Because 22 and 30 equals to minus y upon minus 10 equals to 1 upon 1. Can we subtract these two? Yes. So now what we'll do? We'll say x upon 8 equals to 1 upon 1 and y upon 10 equals to 1 upon 1. So thus x is equals to 8 and y equals to 10. Hope this is clear. Okay, I've taken few more questions to solve. Let's start. Again, what I have to do as a first step, shift the 
constants to the life left. So 3x minus 5y minus 20 equals to 0, 6x minus 10y minus 40 equals to 0. Then I have to write x upon minus y upon and 1 upon, right? Okay, so let's write down. So what should I write as the first thing here? Coefficients of y has minus sign. So it will be a minus 5, minus 10. Constants are also negative, minus 20, minus 40. Under y, I should put the, yes, coefficients of x and my constants. Okay, under 1, I should put 3, 6, minus 5, minus 10. Then top right, bottom right. Sorry, top left, bottom right. Top left, bottom right. Top left, bottom right. Correct? Okay. Let's see now. So, x upon. What should I say? Minus 5 times, minus 40, minus of. Minus 20, minus 10. Correct? Equals to minus 5. 3 times, sorry, minus y. 3 times minus 40, minus of minus 20. Sorry, times 6 is equals to 1 over 3 times minus 10 and then yes minus of minus 5 times 6 okay so let's write it now the next step okay so it will be x upon what yes 200 minus of 200 Yep, equals to minus y upon minus 120 plus 120. Oh, we are turning out with a 0. Okay, 1 over minus 30 plus 30. So, all the denominators are coming out to be a 0. So, yes, x is equals to 0 and y equals to 0. Strange, right? Okay. Next, I'm just giving a hint. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll shift the coefficients. So 8x, I'm sorry. 8x plus 5y minus 9 equals to 0. 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. Again, x upon minus y upon 1 upon. So x upon means it will be y, which is 5 and 2, constant is minus 9, minus 4. For y, it will be 8 and 3, minus 9, minus 4. The constant will be 8, 3, 5, 2. Top left, right bottom. Top left, right bottom. Top left, right bottom. Okay. Now let's multiply it very quickly. So x upon minus 4 times 5. Minus of minus 9 times 2, I'm sorry, okay, equals to minus y upon 8 times minus 4, minus of minus 9 times 3, equals to 1 upon 8 times 2, minus 5 times 3, okay. So, we'll end up with, yes, x upon minus 20 minus minus plus 80 equals to minus y minus 32 minus 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 plus 27 equals to 1 upon 16 minus 15 so we'll get x upon minus of 2 minus y upon minus of 5 equals to 1 upon 1 this one y 1 sorry minus minus gets cancelled off so what i'll get x upon minus 2 equals to 1 y upon 5 equals to 1. So, can I say x is equals to negative 2 and y equals to 5. So, hope this cross multiplication method is clear to you. Okay. I have taken some extra questions for your practice. Thank you.